Meanwhile, in Ogun State, Christian faithful were seen attending worship service to celebrate Easter Sunday. Though the effect of the economic hardship could be felt as they celebrate in moderation, our correspondent Habib Ajay, who went out to some churches in Abelkata, reports that the mood was serene but out of sort. Now, Christian leaders also called on the citizens to emulate the traits of the Lord Jesus and be hopeful for a better Nigeria. No advice to federal government than God to intervene. Because this uh, terrorist of a team, government cannot know where they will spread today. But if God intervene, terrorists will stop. They should have patience. There's nothing that has beginning without end. And we should be prayerful. Within a short time, it will then be the thing of the past. Christians, to follow the footsteps of Christ. He humbled himself in obedience to the Father's will, and is in glory now. So we will do whatever comes our way. We will humble ourselves and do the right thing. In the end, glory will be us. I want to say to the, uh, every Nigerian and everyone listening to us all over the world that there's hope in God. We should be hopeful that everything shall be well and the Lord will restore. Who brought Jesus back to the life? And the reason why we are celebrating today is mean there's hope for the entire world. There's a hope for Nigeria. There's hope for everyone who's op uh, are hopeless. In the, any situation we find ourselves, God will surely intervene in our situation and bring up victory. So there will be victory for Nigeria. There will be victory for every family, victory for every life, every state, every ethnic, and every group in this nation. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.